layer upon layer of mountains and glacier. It's just incredible. What a ride up. Still got another 28 k's to go. Down though. Down. <laughs> we are going to go down to the hotel now. How many hours? About two and a half hour drive. I have no idea what time it is. Um, we just took some time from the mountains. It's very noisy up here because look how many bikes. I'm so happy. Do you know what makes this view makes me feel like croissants are jam? Going up, we're stunning. And coming down, maybe even better. just blown me away. Can you hear that? That's the cow bells. <laughs> How amazing. It's okay not to see and do everything because you're already seeing more than you normally would. I would want to see every tower on. I would be researching every castle, every church. Whereas here it's just like, ride, we ride. There's no time for anything else. I mean, today we're riding over nine and a half hours, nine hours. Yesterday the same. You know how much we've seen in that time. Oh, but Austria, just mountain after mountain after mountain. I'm so happy. Tired, but happy. Right, we're gonna go eat. Mwah. Good morning from Austria. I think we're, we're near Village okay, and we're going to Slovenia and we're going to go and see Lake Bled. Bit of a change today. We are going up the cable car. Hopefully. That was probably the scariest thing I've done all week. <laughs> yeah, we were contemplating. We're like, well, it's not going to be as exciting as going up a, ma up a mountain on a motorbike, is it? I have to say, I prefer riding my motorbike. It is an experience and I'm loving it. But my heart flip flops more on my motorbike. Before I would have just gone mad over this, this experience. And I am, I'm enjoying it, but I'm just enjoying it. Whereas in my motorbike, I'm like, really loving it. It says we're 2,200 meters up. Okay, I made it to the 
way back down now because we have to go and swim in a lake in Slovenia. Poor us, hey? It's a hard life. Oh, Austria, you are majestic. We're going to Lake Bled. About 100 kilometers from here. Let's go. so slowly suppose someone's broken down in this heat on this hill well, oh no they've not the child needed a wee wee so there's a bunker museum oh so there are bunkers here mm, beautiful and cool oh there's a tank Alfie de Zane goodbye oh border Going to Slovenia! Slovenia, baby! We're in Slovenia. Wow, Slovenia? You started out fantastic. <laughs> A few minutes into Slovenia. And look. Look at this. How spectacular is this? Ooh. And it's it was always on fire, our house, our dreams We were dancing on a wire, reckless it seemed Oh, I was tempted to go then. I think this heat would make you do silly things as much as the, you know, they say don't ride when it's cold because you'll get distracted. But I think the heat make will make you do silly things too. Because... This is really hot. Seems so strong until it falls. The fire comes strong. I would have judged you previously, people. 
And now I understand it. I'm not going to follow you, but I'm um, oh, so tempted. Dino Land, Dino Park. And straight ahead is Lake Blair. I'm giving commentary because I'm dying. <laughs> okay, this is a river. Oh, wow. Okay, we made it to Lake Blair and it, it's stunning. Look at that. Got the mountains in the background, the ice. Look at this water. You see the fish? Look at the colour of it. I can't get over this. Place, it's just the bee's knees. But we can't stay long because we still have to get to the hotel, which is a couple of hours ride, so not too long. But there's a storm due in two hours here as well, so we're going to try and miss that. But it, it's incredible. And we thought the water would be freezing considering that there is snow while ice just there. And that's obviously what, uh, where all the waters come from, but it wasn't. It's nicely warmed up and it is hot. I mean, I'm just riding in a bikini under my gear, just to kind of have a breather. Just a quick one now and then we're off again. So I just don't feel like we've done Slovenia justice. It was stunning. We had the whole mountain views and the most incredible mountains all the way through and the rivers were like aqua. But it was so, so, so hot and not like dry heat, like stifling heat. So we were sweating like crazy. Even without our gear on, we would have been struggling. And then to put the gear on and then whenever you stop, it, it, like you, you felt like you would faint. The phone stopped working in the heat and that, that's our sat nav right now. So that's the thing we do for next time. We definitely get a proper sat nav. Yes. Brian's grips, the, the rubber just started disintegrating in the heat. And so, I mean, we stopped at Lake Blair and we got in the water and it was, it was beautiful. And we, it cooled us down nicely. And it was, by the time we had got dressed, we were really hot again, like crazy hot. So we've got our jackets on, we get going. And um, so what we had to do eventually vomit on through on the motorway, unfortunately. So we missed 
Slovenia. But I think that's just one of the things, you know, it's just travel, isn't it? Some things just happen, you just have to accept it. So we'll just have to come back and do Slovenia again because, I mean, from what we've seen, the small amount we've seen, it's been breathtaking. It's tomorrow morning, we're hoping to do the caves and then um, we'll plan on what we're doing. Maybe Croatia? No. So we've had uh, some food now. I'm just having a drink, then we're going back. Have an early night tonight and just crack on tomorrow instead. Is it cooler tomorrow? Oh, okay, it's not cooler. So we've decided that we're not even gonna book a hotel for tomorrow. We're just gonna see what happens.